Hello and welcome. Today we are going to show you how to manage your game content and deploy assets dynamically using cloud content delivery. This workflow incorporates the use of addressable assets, so if you'd like to watch a longer tutorial that includes asset configuration, you can do so via the link provided. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the demo that we will be building today. It's a game called Loaded Dungeons, and it's a very simple game. As players, our aim is to help our character find the key in each level and then progress to the next. The very first level will be bundled with the build client, but all following levels, as well as any hats that our character will be wearing, will all be downloaded from the cloud using cloud content delivery. That's the game, so let's take a look at how we're configuring our addressable assets. I'm going to go to Window, Asset Management, Addressables and Groups. My first two groups, the default local group and level zero, will both be bundled with the client. Everything else is what we'll be fetching from the cloud. We're all set from an addressables point of view, so let's navigate back to the Unity dashboard. You can, of course, use cloud content delivery with existing projects, but we're starting from scratch. So I'm going to click on Create Project up here in the navigation bar and name it appropriately. Once the project has been created, take a note of the project ID as it will be important later. The next thing we have to do is create buckets for our content. So I'm going to navigate to the menu on the left here, scroll down to back end, hover over cloud content delivery, then under project, click buckets. Now you'll notice that we don't have any buckets at the moment and we're going to create two. Development, which is the one we'll be using for the purpose of this demo, and Production, which is ultimately the bucket that your players will fetch content from. For this demo, we'll be focused on the Development bucket, so take a note of the bucket ID as we will need it later on. Next, we need to get the command line interface so navigate back to the organization level and click on Download CLI. Choose the appropriate version for your operating system. The first thing we have to do here is authenticate our account using the CLI. So I'm going to copy my API key from over here and then enter my command line. UCD, auth, login, followed by my API key and hit enter. Next, let's list our buckets. To do that, we'll need our project ID from earlier. The next command is UCD buckets list followed by the project ID. Now we need to generate our asset bundles, so I'm going to switch over to Unity. As mentioned at the very beginning, we have already configured our addressable assets, so we go to Window, Asset Management, addressables, groups. In my profiles, using our development profile, we're going to click on manage profiles. Here, you can see that we are instructing addressables to load the assets from a specific URL that we are yet to create. So let's do that. In my notepad here, I have the URL that we will be using for addressables, and all we need to do is populate it with our project and bucket IDs. Next, we copy the entire URL and paste it into the field marked Remote Load Path. 
That's it for Addressable's configuration, so next we need to build our asset bundles. I go to Build, New Build, Default Build Script. Our bundles are now created and stored locally, so the next step is to upload them to the cloud. We want to upload these assets to our development bucket, so in the CLI I enter command ucd config set bucket followed by my bucket ID. With our development bucket active, we need to upload the bundles themselves. We point the CLI to where our bundles are currently stored, and then I enter the command ucd entries sync followed by a period. Once the bundles are successfully uploaded to the cloud, let's navigate back to our dashboard. Within our project, we can see that we have unreleased changes in our development bucket. This means that we have uploaded assets but have not yet created a release. Creating a release is like taking a snapshot of the contents of our bucket and that's what we have to do next. Let's create a release and name it appropriately. Note how this release will automatically be badged as latest so that we can tell it is our most recent release created within the development bucket. You can also create custom badges of your own according to your needs. Click Submit and we have successfully created our release. If we switch back to Unity, we can quickly play through our levels to see the assets being downloaded in real time, level by level, as they are needed. Once our device has loaded everything for the first time, the assets will be cached locally. Instead of using the play mode script that I was using previously, I'm going to use existing build, and this means that the assets will be fetched using cloud content delivery. You'll notice that the level loaded straight away because that was bundled with the original game, but the hat takes a couple of seconds to load because that is being downloaded from the cloud. All following levels, as well as any hats that our character will be wearing, will all be downloaded from the cloud using cloud content delivery. We had no problems with loading our assets, so it's time to promote this release from our development bucket to our production bucket and make it available to our players. It's very simple. We click Promote Release, choose our target bucket, in this case production, and once again go through badging before confirming promotion. That's it. Here's what we achieved over the last few minutes. We uploaded our asset bundles to the cloud. We tested them out in a safe development bucket and, happy with the result, we have made our assets available to our players by promoting the release snapshot into our production bucket. If you want to know more about the configuration of addressable assets or cloud content delivery as a product, please use the resources linked alongside this tutorial. Thank you for watching and happy delivering.